everybody, welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we have some brand new AEW and WWE action figure news coming at you. It seems like the news did slow down just a little bit. You know, the AEW figure news was coming in like freaking wildfire, man. It was spreading, it was going crazy. Calm down a little bit, and now we are back with some more today, guys, and I'm pretty excited to get into it because today we finally have it unveiled to us. Series number five, AEW Unrivaled Series number five is among us. We already knew that we were going to be getting this series because we leaked it the other day. You guys know we got the package. We already knew the series. We went over it the other day, and we broke it down with Luchasaurus, Jungle Boy, the rest of the figures in the wave, what we thought they were going to look like, all of those good things. Well, today's, ladies and gentlemen, we have render images of what they're going to look like and I gotta say they look pretty damn spectacular so let's just go ahead and start off guys let's start things off with Jungle Boy starting out with Jungle Boy this figure looks phenomenal it's kind of crazy to me I didn't think that it would look this damn good but if you guys will look at this head sculpt bro this is so crazy how good this looks and what I love about this is I guess we can break it down as we go down but again everything about this is just so good I love this head sculpt the likeness to Jungle Boy to Jack Jack Perry. It's outrageous. It's outra It looks just like Jack Perry. I think this is the Orange Cassidy slash Darby Allen torso, which I think works perfectly for those guys. You know, they're slimmer guys, they're leaner guys, they're smaller guys. I think this works perfectly. You can still get the definition in there. Hands look good. Arms look good. You got the uh, brown wrist gauntlets going on right there. Going down into the knee pads is what is really cool to me, guys, because those are hex knee pads like McDavid Hex knee pads and those are specifically the knee pads that he wears so everything that they give us from AEW so far it's like they take whatever they wear in real life and they legit make it over into their figure it's like they make one of one sculpts for all the different figures which I think is just so freaking cool it's so detailed it's so nice and that is something that I'm loving so far with the Jazz Wears the AEW the Jeremy Padauer figures right now that are looking so spectacular so Jungle Boy is the first one in the set. I love it. I think it looks great. I may tomorrow, if I have a little bit of extra time to waste or something, I might sit around and color these in or something and post them up somewhere on my social media just to see what they'll look like colored up. Until we get the you know final images and things of that nature, that may be something that I do. But Jungle Boy looks absolutely insane. But you know, we can't cover Jungle Boy without my boy. We gotta get into my boy Luchasaurus, bro. Look at this Luchasaurus figure. Oh my goodness, God in heaven. It looks fantastic. And something, I can't remember who it was, so I apologize, but on the back of the packaging of the Luchasaurus box that was leaked on the, you know, on socials like a few days ago or a week ago or so, they uh, actually said to zoom in on the Jumbotron. I'll do my best to try and show you guys what I'm talking about. They said, look, it's the white attire. If this ends up being his white attire, man, I'm gonna lose my damn mind because that is my favorite Luchasaurus attire is the white gear. So hopefully that will be the case. This looks great. The wrist gauntlets, the sculpt and everything. I can't wait to see all his tattoos. I can't wait to see this thing colored in and stuff. Torso looks great. Luchasaurus is absolutely jacked. You guys have seen my Luchasaurus customs that I've made. I've made two different ones. I had my fantasy attire one and then I also had the one that me and BEW collaborated on uh, about, you know, at Hell's Gate. That one that I used at Hell's Gate, I have since sold that one. But this looks incredible, man. I cannot wait. I like the veins going through the arms. The, uh, you know, the mouth wide open expression is perfectly fine with me. The mask sculpt looks good. I can't wait to see it when it is finally done. He also has his wrestling kick pads on there knee pads, the shoe mold and everything's the same. He wears those like toe sandals, so those are completely accurate. The waist wrap looks good. I just can't wait to see what it looks like when it's finally colored in and everything, but dude, Luchasaurus, early contender for figure of the year? I freaking think so, man. Him and Orange Cassidy are going to be at each other's throats without a doubt there. But Luchasaurus looks great. Can't wait to get Jurassic Express in here. I already have my custom elite ones that I'll use in the pick fed for the main for the meantime. But having these guys is excellent. So I'm super excited for Jurassic Express, guys. Let's move on to the rest of the figures in the set. First up, we have Adam Hangman Page. And Adam Hangman Page is going to be not only a regular version, but we also have a rare version. So that is going to be really cool. I'm going to bring them up side by side so you guys can see exactly what we're getting with the differences here. You guys will notice on the regular version, uh, I don't have them both pulled up side by side. I'm going to try and get them here straight in my notes so that I can look at them side by side. But you guys will notice the regular version comes with... A a pitcher and it also comes with a shot glass you guys know that you know 
Adam Hangman Page loves his alcohol. It looks like we are getting a new boot mold for this guy. It also looks like he's going to have his belt buckle on there. So the regular version honestly looks like it's going to be better to me. So the, the rare version is going to be a little bit different. I don't know if it's got tights on. I don't think it has tights on. I don't think the rare version is going to have tights. Neither one of these look like they're going to have the tights look of Adam Hangman Page. So I guess we'll have to wait on our next Adam Hangman Page to get the tights or the long tights look. But I don't know all the differences so far. I just know that the boots are different. The regular version has different cowboy boots. He comes with a pitcher. He comes with a shot glass. And he has the belt buckle. I honestly think the regular version is better. Comes with a bandana over the face. This time, I know a lot of people were bummed out that the other one didn't. I'm pretty sure that one ended up not being able to do that or something like that. This one is going to be able to do that. You got the vest on there. Again, it's all going to come down to decals and attires and colors and head sculpts, finalizations to see what they look like. You can't really see either one of these face sculpts. We don't know if he's going to be making the same expression as his first figure or what the case is, but Adam Hangman Page is the rare version. You guys can let me know down below which one you're more excited about, but I think the regular version is going to be the better one with the accessories, belt buckle, cowboy boot mold, all of that things. I think this Adam Hangman Page will be a step above his Series 2 figure, which I actually still like a lot. So there is that, but, but outside of Jurassic Express and our two figures from Adam Hangman Page in this set, guys, we also have SCU, and we can't have SCU without Scorpio Sky and Frank Kazarian and both of these I think I will say I, I feel like Scorpio Sky's head sculpt's not as good or I feel like the likeness isn't as good maybe I just can't tell because you know the the it's not painted and stuff like that yeah. so we don't know exactly what the face sculpt and all of that is going to look like once it is painted it may look a little better bit better and it may just look just like him I may be just tripping ball sack or something you know I, I may have to get in here and get a good, better look at it and stuff like that but Frankie Kazarian on the other hand looks a lot better I think Frankie Kazarian's head sculpt looks more like him than Scorpio Skies does and Frankie Kazarian's also does not have the knee pads on there because I'm pretty sure he wears knee pads I'm pretty sure he wears knee pads maybe they just didn't have it for the render image or whatever the case was but the kick pads look good everything looks good with this Frankie Kazarian figure not my favorite guy but you know I still can appreciate a Frankie Kazarian I'll still definitely put it in there and I'll still put him in the tag team division see what he's got going on put him up with SCU and Scorpio Sky and the whole deal again hopefully we get a Christopher Daniels soon as well and these guys are also going to come with the AEW World Tag Titles. Now, I didn't show them, but I still think that they are definitely going to come with them. They have them on the back of the packaging, all of that good jazz. And the thing with Scorpio Sky is I think that this head sculpt, like this render image, makes him look a little bit older than he actually is or something because I feel like uh, Scorpio Sky looks pretty young in his face still. So, I don't know. Maybe that's what the case is. But we also have SCU, Frankie Kazarian, Scorpio Sky. Both of them look really good. Should come with the tag titles and all of those things. And the last figure that we have in this set, guys, is going to be John Moxley. We have another John Moxley, and not just one John Moxley, guys, but we're going to have two. We're going to have a Chase variant version and a regular version. Now, you guys will notice that the Chase variant version has the eye patch and the mouth wide open, and the regular version seems to have like a grimacing or like open sort of weird face going on. I don't really know how to describe that, but they are going to be a little bit different. I don't have them side by side right now, so they may have a little bit few, you know, a few more differences, but those are the differences that stand out to me. Jeremy also said that they're working on getting more women in the line, that the Unmatched series will be a lot better at getting more depth in the line with more you know, not maybe as notable names. It'll be more of the undercard, middle card guys. Also, he mentioned that they're trying to get the, you know, more women in there. He also mentioned, he did mention that he knows that a lot of people are going to be upset about the eye patch being on the Chase variant version. And he said that maybe, he said that that doesn't mean that you couldn't see a eye patch Moxley down the line. So we should be able to get a Moxley eye patch down the line and be able to fill that in if you want that for your collection and everything. So, because I'm pretty sure if you find a Chase variant, in these AEW figures, you're probably not going to open them. Like, if I find one, I'm definitely not opening it unless I find another one. I haven't even found one Chase variant. If I find one, I'll keep it mock. If I find two, I'll open one. So that'll probably be what the case is, but I haven't had any luck with that whatsoever so far, so we'll just have to see about that. But Moxley is the Chase variant. You have the regular version without the eye patch, then the Chase variant version that does have the eye patch. Hopefully they fix some things. I saw a few people saying that it looks like they fixed the height sculpt. I don't know about that. We'll have to see once we get it in hand and get all the good things going going and see how he scales with every 
your body and all that because I don't want to make any pre you know assumptions about that because I don't remember what the other render image looked like and all of that but some people I did see some people saying that it does look like it is shorter so hopefully that will fix his height issue and we ain't got to do some crazy surgery just to fix our John Moxley's but outside of that guys we also have some WWE action figure news as well as you guys know about the WWE Legends 10 DDP it is going to come with the headset for the DDP yoga well action figure attack posted this on his story the other day where he posted that there is going to be a little hole on the back of the ear of the DDP figure as you guys can see right here we had a better look of the figure and the head sculpt that we're going to get with Legends 10 DDP and you guys can see a little hole where the ear plug or the headset plugs into his head now I know a lot of people probably aren't going to be you know intrigued about that like having a hole right there permanently in his head I feel like they probably could have made something that like clipped onto the side of the head or clipped onto the side of the ear I don't know I'm not in the figure making process Brad again I don't make the rules I just deal with them sometimes they get broken but you know I guess if you wanted to fill that in you'd have to fill that in with sculpt or sculpt over it in the same you know make it look like the hair and then paint over it with similar hair color for the DDP if you really wanted to do that but it's not the biggest deal to me I don't think it's the biggest deal I mean yeah I mean if you're a perfectionist or you're you're kind of OCD or whatever, you probably are going to be bothered by that, and I can see why you'd be bothered by that. However, I think at the end of the day, it's going to be all right. I still think it's pretty cool that it comes off, at least. I just think a clip-on probably would have been a little bit better, but there is the WWE Legends 10 DDP figure. But I think that is all of the news that I have for you guys. AEW, WWE, whatever the case. That is everything that I wanted to cover with you guys today. My boy Christian is also doing some more news today. I don't exactly know what it is. I'll probably report on it later on, so definitely stay tuned to that. If Christian leaks any more stuff today, I'll be back on here with that news for you guys, letting you guys know everything that's up. But I'm getting the hell out of here, guys. Before we get out of here, let's get into our random shout-out. And this shout-out is going to go to the Gamer Nerd 2020 who says the Thanos gear. So you didn't choose me? I'm about to snap you out of existence, Brad. Referring to the fan take of Seth Rollins, where we should have got the Thanos gear, but we did not get the Thanos gear. So a huge shout-out to Gamer Nerd for that, because, yeah, Brad, I mean, ha. <sighs> upsetting. Definitely upsetting. If you guys missed the full fan take over Elite Wave, review definitely go check that out we reviewed that yesterday so you definitely don't want to miss out on that or anything like that so huge shout out to the guy right there huge shout out to the gamer nerd for that comment guys thank you so very much for watching i hope you guys did enjoy let me know what you think of aew series 5 so freaking pumped for luchasaurus man cannot describe how pumped i am for that figure to get it in here and pose it around just in time for my damnation man it will be here before My Damn Nation, obviously, so Luchasaurus and Jungle Boy are eyeing those World Tag titles. They may be going up for them with the Usos. We got some other teams around there. I believe there is a number one contenders matchup for those World Tag Team Championships on the episode of MDT Live next, so that should be interesting. But I'm getting the hell out of here, guys. Don't cross the line. You cross the line.